Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today, let's talk about overcoming app rejections. All right, a couple of days ago, we got a new comment from our good friends at XDebug Game who've been commenting on this channel for years. Uh, he said, hi, Eric, I just made a new game and tried to release it to Apple's App Store and ran into the dreaded 4.3 guideline spam apps. The game is a slots game, and I know there are tons of these games already on the store, but it was my first slots game, completely written from scratch, no reskin. Also, the gameplay mechanic is a bit different from every other slots game. Do you have any advice on how to approach, this, approach Apple on this issue? I would say, first of all, don't panic. And this is the thing about the rejections. You, you put so much work into it, especially if it's something from scratch, you could spend weeks or months or however long working on something, you put it through to Apple and then you get the rejection back and don't panic. I mean, I was talking to somebody this morning who we just released an app and it came back with like a, a rejection and it was just such a simple one to fix. It was like a, a P list entry and then we just resubmit it. But he was like, what am I gonna do if they don't approve it? Oh, you know, my clients are gonna, you know, freak out all this stuff. I said, don't panic, just resubmit it. It's, it's fine, right? But And for the 4.3 one, this one, my first advice here would be to just resubmit it. Don't let it go at that. Respond in the comment where you put the response, say, I, I can see why you might think that, but if you have a look at all the other apps on my account, this is unlike any of them. If you look at all the other apps on the app market, this one is different because of X, Y, and Z. Can you please review it again? You know, keep the thing alive, right? And they might come, they might come back in a day or two saying, okay, we reviewed it again and we sticking by 4.3. We still gonna st stay by this because they don't wanna admit they were wrong. And then you say, I would like to speak to a reviewer and then get a reviewer to give you a call. And that takes like three to five business days or something like that. And then you would explain to the reviewer why this is happening and ask the reviewer, what do I have to do to make this pass, right? And just, you know, put it on their side because you have to look at it from the reviewer's side. I'm always thinking about what it must be like to be a reviewer. They probably sit there and it's just hundreds of apps, you know, the thousands of apps that get submitted every day. I have no idea how many reviewers there are, but they probably just sit there and they're, you know, they, they check the metadata, they look at the screenshots, they, you know, have to download the app, they have to log in, they have to test a few different things and, you know, and then it give the approval or the rejection, right? And I think that 4.3 is the way that they can, save themselves a lot of work. I think it's just like the, the easy disqualification early on. They can just look at it and go, yeah, 4.3, right? They'll, and I know this for a fact. They, I was rejected for 4.3 like a month ago. I just did a favor for, for a friend. They said they had this, this app and they want to put it in the app store. They didn't want to create their own account. So I said, oh, you know what? That's fine. You know, it's, you know, you're not making any money from it or whatever. I'll just put it on my account, all that stuff. And then it was completely different than anything else on my app store. You know, cause sometimes it hit me for 4.3 and I, while I don't agree with it and it's completely different, completely different audiences and stuff like that, I think, okay, I can see where you're coming from. But this time it was nothing. It was like, they were just penalizing me for no reason, right? So I did, I, I appealed, I did the, the same steps. First thing I said, can you review it again, please? Right, and they reviewed it again, they stuck by it and I said, I wanna speak to a reviewer, right? And then I had the, the, the reviewer call me up and he said, okay, yeah, I've had a look at it and yeah, I'll put a note on it, all this kind of stuff. So at least get somebody on the phone because what they're trying to do, I think, is save time. And what you wanna do is make them not save time. Keep pushing it back and just, you know, just wear them down. They're just, it's, I, I think it's just someone being lazy, right? This is, and, and the reason I'm talking about this is because it's like the third time this week I've spoken to somebody who's had, or I've heard from somebody who's had 4.3 issues. I was talking to somebody uh, the other day who had 4.3 issues and it was like an app that they put onto their app store, but they'd also had a client which they put like another version of the app on their store. So it wasn't even on the same account and they were getting the 4.3 issue there, which was like, you know, First of all, that's your client. That's completely separate code base. You know, it's completely different marketing. It's completely, you know, and the code was different enough and everything like that, but they were still getting hit by it, right? And the truth is, even if your slots game is similar to other ones out there, 
you cannot be the person who goes through and checks the whole rest of the app store every time you release something to find out if someone somewhere has a similar app to yours. So, you know, I would say resubmit it and please let us know how you get on with that because I think, you know, I, I think it's just a reviewer being lazy. You know, they're trying to save themselves a bit of time, you know, if they can, you know, and we get this all the time. I get this all the time. It seems like at least like, 30% of the time I, that I get that first initial rejection. Sometimes it's a nice, easy metadata thing. It's like, all right, fine, I'll change this thing. Sometimes it'll be like, oh, you have to add something else in there. Sometimes I'll reject it for a reason that I just, that, that just doesn't make any sense and I'll appeal it and then they'll just, they'll reject it through. So you are dealing with people, right? Sometimes I think they'll stick to their guns and say, you know, because they don't want to admit that they just, yeah, we're being lazy and everything. So Xdebug Games, please resubmit it. And anybody else, if your app gets rejected, don't panic. And if you have clients, right, and you tell them that you, you submitted to the app to the app store, don't tell them it's going to be a day or two. Tell them it's going to be at least five days. It used to take 10 days. So you give yourself a bit of wiggle room there because, you know, if you have clients and then they find out that it's been rejected, they freak out big time sometimes. They'll be like, what are we going to do if it's not rejected? It's, you know, they, this is our whole business model, all this stuff. You're like, calm down. That's fine. It's fine. You know, we just need to resubmit it, right? And this kind of stuff just happens, right? So I hope that helps a little bit. And, and for those of you out there who have had an initial rejection, if you've appealed it, please put it in the comments too, because anybody else who's, who's had a rejection and they might be freaking out a little bit, let them know how it is actually overcomable you actually can overcome it and uh you know it's just it's just a it's just a part of apple developer life i think so anyway that's it for today i'll talk to you guys tomorrow